Everybody, welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George is back with us again, and he and I are already having a good time with these words from God. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Pastor's just given us some wonderful things on our covenant of protection. Amen. Gloria, Very important. I'm so glad to be with you. I just get so excited of the things that, that I do research on, then come in here, and then you add so much more to it. It's wonderful. I it's enjoy wonderful. It. And that's what the Word of God does. It just, you, your fa well, faith comes by hearing, yeah. and hearing by the Word of God. And now, what we're talking about is we're talking, the subject that we are on is called the untouchables living in God's circle I do like of your, protection. I like your title. That's great. <clears throat> so we are the wicked one, 1 John 5. The devil. The devil touches us not. The devil and all of his devils touches us not. That's right. The <laughs> devil not. and all of his hosts touch us not. Yeah. And so today, Gloria, what we're going to do, and we'll spend several days talking about this, but we'll talk about our covenant of protection. Good. I like We it. have a covenant with God. And that covenant includes, as part of its benefits or part of the articles of the covenant, a covenant of protection. And the scripture that I like to use on this one is Psalm 105, verse 8. <clears throat> and it says, He has remembered His covenant forever, the Word, which He commanded to a thousand generations. Hallelujah. So we know it's still good. It's still good. Glory. It's still on. And that word, and, and this is an interesting point. When we talk about covenant, the covenant that we have with God is His Word. His Word is His covenant. Right. And right. a covenant, I wrote down a definition here on our notes, which by the way, these are available to you. All you have to do is to go to kcm.org and you'll see the information there of how to access these. And Gloria, we've had over half a million since you and I started. Half, half George, a million that's awesome, isn't it? outlines that have been I'd downloaded. I'd like to have some testimonies from those, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. I'd like to hear that. Glory so you've God. heard it from Gloria. We want your testimonies. Tell we us. We get excited about these things. Tell us what God is doing for you. But the covenant that we have, this covenant with God, a covenant is, and I have a definition there, it's an unbreakable agreement mm -hmm. between two parties that have joined together as one to support each other, provide for one another, to protect each other, and to defend each other. So we have a covenant of protection with God and the articles of that covenant are written in the Word of God. That's right. And... Did, did when you got married, did they say, "Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife?" Mm -hmm. What is that? That's a covenant. That's a covenant. That's a covenant. That is a covenant. Glory to God. And we, Terry and I, have been living in our covenant. This year is our thirty-eighth year of our covenant. Hallelujah. Together. Glory to God. And we became really the word covenant means one. You're one together in Christ. We are one together with Almighty God. With Terry, we are one together. Do you together. take this man to be your wedded husband? Yeah. Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? Yes, yes. And we have, we have become one, and everything, everything that is mine Believe is hers. Believe me, is hers. Is hers. <laughs> and I, I mean, I, I joyfully, I mean, Hallelujah. whatever she wants, whatever she I desires. Oh, you're a good one. That's my heart. That's the way my husband is. And that's, oh, he's, he, he's over the top. <laughs> he's over the top. <laughs> and that's the way God is. God's over the top. He is. Hallelujah. He's over the top in love with us so mm -hmm. much. We, we want, any good father will watch over their family and protect them. Yes, that's right. Protect their children. And that's the way the Father is with that's us. That's right. Glory and to folks, God. we have a covenant with God and we have a covenant of protection and He is here to defend us, to protect us. But the thing about it is we must become knowledgeable of that covenant. You and I have talked about this before. It's not enough just to make Jesus the Lord of your life. It's not enough. That's a good start. And, and it's a great start. But then you have to become familiar with with His Word and what is available to you and what is yours. And there's pe there are people that are, as we talked about the other day, they're running scared. Mm -hmm. Scared. Of, some of them won't leave their house. Precious Christian people, yeah. but they're so afraid they won't leave their house. My some God. of them are afraid to go to church. 
Right, some ride of them the airplane. Or ride an airplane or, or go to the mall or where, where any large group of people might come. There's a, there is a paranoia that begins to set in, that fear that something bad is going to happen. Yeah. Well, well now think about it. If that's what they believe, they ought to stay home. Yeah, that's right. Because, you know, it's what, you, it's what you release your faith for that's active in your life. And that negative paranoia, everybody's out to get me. Everybody's out to get me. There's somebody out there with a gun right now looking for me. We have to be... It's a terrible thing. It's it an is. awful bondage. And we have to be just like Mylon Lefevre. Mylon Lefevre... the kids used to say, Mylon the feather. The feather. <laughs> yeah. We have to be just like Mylon. Mylon has a serious case of reverse paranoia. Everybody's out to bless me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So Amen. We have to become educated and familiarized with the covenant that we have with God. So, Gloria, this is what we're going to do. Okay, George. You and I are going to run some scriptures together. I have seven scriptures here of our covenant of protection, and let's begin with Psalm 91. And again, those of you that are watching right now, you can go back to the archives and look at these over and over again, these, these studies that we're doing together, and write down the scriptures. You know, we're in a day and an age now where we have televisions that you can, app, you can pause them. And you can write down a scripture, pause it, study right along with us. It's amazing, isn't it, what We've has got happened? every kind of tool. Gloria, you've come a long way from the Beverly Hillbillies on a little television a little, set. Yeah. With that, that one was line broken. The, <laughs> broken. We've come a long way from that. And the rollaway bed. I got And the bed. rollaway bed. I got several good beds. Praise I a, God. We had, Ken and I were so broke when we first got married. We rented a rollaway bed for seven dollars and something. We had a we rented a house. We had to rent a rollaway bed or a bed and we had seven dollars and something. That's what we rented. Wow. And it was like this, you know. But we had a coffee table Ken made in shop. Yes. Stunning piece. And we had a black and white TV <laughs> that, it was about this high, but mm -hmm. the picture was only this we, high. <laughs> we, <come. laughs> we watched it too. <laughs> and now, oh, those days are, those days are over forever. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Okay, our covenant of protection, Psalm 91, 1. Now, Gloria, we're going to be doing a, a fuller study of Psalm 91 Good. here coming up. You can't but I, do it I, too much. I just wanted to take this first verse, though. This is your covenant with God. Amen. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What a scripture. What a scripture. That I see obedience in that. We abide I do too. under yes, that. Yes, yes. We abide in that yeah. word. We abide under that shadow. We're not here out here doing That's where we things. live. That's where we live. That's right. You I was doing some reading in one of your books about this and you wrote in there you talked about this scripture and you said that to dwell in the secret place, to abide, that's not transient. That's not no. That's not that's like living in a hotel. That is where we live. Amen. We dwell in the secret place of the yes, Most High. We, we abide under the shadow Praise of the God. Almighty. Amen. That's an article from your covenant with God. Praise God. Covenant Hallelujah. of protection. Glory to God. So look in your Bible there, Gloria, and, at, and just let me know if you've got anything as we go through Psalm, as Psalm 91 1, if you've got any, any treasure in your uh, margin. Okay. Of Psalm 91, 1. We, we've been Psalm 21 talks about your arrival and departure. So we're protected as we travel. That's a good, oh, that's good. arrival and departure. That's good. And then, oh, that's good. Now, hoping I can read my that's writing. That's really good. God's action. To what was that? Psalm what? Psalm, Psalm 121. Psalm 121. 3 through 8. Wow. I didn't have that one. And that's then good. And the te in the Tehillim, the, uh, it, it would be 50. Page 1512. That's good, Gloria. Thank God's you. God's actions toward each man reflect <laughs> that individual's, that man's, in other words, actions toward God. Yes. Like if you have faith for your protection, yep. then you've opened the door for God to secure that protection. Oh, that's good. Isn't that right? Oh, that's if good. If you have faith for your finances, you've op opened, opened the, door the door for God to prosper you. Yes. Glory to God. Wow. Isn't that good? Psalm 121 is an amazing scripture there. The Lord, verse 5, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Um, verse 7, the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. All. Everything. Glory to God. We'll add that. That'll be added that into good? this Hallelujah. outline. 
Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's look then. Turn to Psalm 1. Let me one. read this if I yeah, can go read ahead. it. It's yeah. kind of hard to read. Go ahead. My, are you still in one? Are you still in? The, I'm all, still on the arrival and, and the and departure. departure. Yeah. So like when you get on an airplane. Yes. You depart and you arrive. Okay. Now if you do it by faith, you depart and you arrive intact. Yes. Or that could be going to town. Could be going to yeah. the shopping mall. Yeah. Believe okay. God. I plead the blood of Jesus all the time as I go do stuff. Praise God. Okay, God's actions toward each man reflect that individual's actions toward God and his fellow man. To the extent that man pays attention or tends to it, yeah. as Proverbs 4.20 says, uh, to the word of Hashem or God and safeguard, oh, oh, to the word, Hashem safeguards his his commands, Hashem will safeguard him. Mm. Uh, the attention you give to the word. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we did not begin to prosper supernaturally until we attended, gave attention to the word about yes. prosperity. Yes. Then yes. what yeah. happened? Well, faith came and we began to believe to prosper. Yeah. Are the same yeah. things true with healing? Yes. Glory to God. Uh, Hashem is your guardian. The, the uh, Tehillim says, Hashem, our God, is uh, your, or shall be at your right hand. Glory to God. Gloria, that's and wonderful. I'm looking there at your Bible. That's Psalm 91 mm -hmm. there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'd like, we're going to make a copy of that and include that in the notes. You won't be able to read it. We'll enlarge it a little bit. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it up there a little okay. bit bigger. But, right. but we're, going, we're going to do that and make that available. It is that's, a good, these are good. That's magnificent, what you just Ooh. said. Wow. The refuge of the Most High. Wow. He will be enveloped by God's providence. Enveloped, protected. That's, us. That's, That's us. us. That's why it's so important, church, that you spend time in the Word of God. Your healing's in there. Yes. Your deliverance is in there. Your deliverance from poverty is in there. Glory it's to all God. In drugs, there. your deliverance from drugs, sickness, anything that's under the curse is in the Word of God. Now, how do you take it? You know, the Bible talks about God's Word being medicine. Yes, yes, Take it, yes. tend to my words, medicine yep. to your flesh. Okay, so you take it in your eyes, you take it in your ears, mm -hmm. it gets down in your heart mm -hmm. where it talks to you. Talks to you. And it brings faith if you'll listen to it. Yes. And faith yes. fixes anything. And we can have that same faith, faith in the Word. For, for the protection of our lives. That's right. From Psalm, Amen. Psalm 91. That's right. And I love what George has called us, the untouchables. Untouchable. We are untouchable. Glory to God. We are the untouchables. Let's look at a couple of these other scriptures. Here's, here's Psalm 125, 2. This is from the New Living Translation. Just as the mountains surround and protect Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds yes. and protects His people like both it. now and forever. Hallelujah. Great scripture. That's a wonderful, wonderful scripture. And that's part of the article of our covenant of protection. Mm -hmm. And so we could take that and you could say it like this, just as the mountains surround and protect Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds and protects me and my family, or my family and me, <laughs> both now and forever. So you, you take that and make it personal to you. You declare it over yourself. That's how you make it real. You take the 91st Psalm, it's a good place to start. It's a good you place to start. all of it. This one here, this is the third one, Proverbs 133, the I like NIV. That. Whoever listens to me That's will good. live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. Oh, what a great scripture. I believe that. So we have to listen to him, don't we? We have to listen. Have to, yeah, and obey. And obey. Believe it, obey it. And we will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. To be sensitive enough to the Holy Spirit that we might be driving out somewhere and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit says, turn here or go there or you have an impression to go someplace. Or and not I, to go at all. Or not to go at all. And I like what Keith Moore said. He says this. He talks about the goodness of God and he says, just think about how many accidents you avoided today. Really? Praise God. Just think about the things that Amen. I mean, there are times, Gloria, that I have actually driven up on an accident that just took place. And I thank, I thank God for, and what we do, we pray for these people. Timing's everything. It is everything. <laughs> and we pray for these people. And you know, every time we see an ambulance 
and a fire truck. Yes, we do. Every time, every time we pray for them. And there have been times when the Lord has had me actually stop and get out of the car and lay hands on people. Praise God. And there was one guy one time that, that they, the accident, this accident had just taken place like right in front of us. And so I got out and there was a guy sitting over off of the road, obviously in pain. And I said, can I pray for you? He said, yes. And he took my hand. He squeezed he my hand. It. He was taking it. Praise God. But we, we, I declare this over our congregation. We are in the right place at, at the, the right, right time, time with the right people. That's good. All That's the time. Right. All Amen. the time. Amen. In the Amplified Translation of Proverbs 133, whoever hearkens to me, wisdom, shall cool? dwell securely and in confident trust and shall be quiet without fear or dread of evil. I believe it. Glory to God. That's a good one. No, Proverbs 12, 21. No yeah, harm ahead. comes to the godly. That's saying something. No too. harm comes to the godly. Or you could say no harm comes to the obedient. Right. Right. But the wicked have their fill of trouble. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> read, what, read what the Amplified Bible says there. No actual evil, misfortune, or calamity. This is a great That's scripture. a great scripture. No yeah. actual evil, misfortune, or calamity shall come upon the righteous, but the wicked shall be filled with evil, misfortune, and calamity. Mm -mm -mm. Now who gets to choose? We do. We do. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a great scripture? Oh, man. That's good. Go Look ahead, at that. Sorry. Proverbs 18.10 in the Amplified. I like this scripture. The that? name of the Lord is a strong tower. The consistently righteous man, upright and in right standing with God, runs into it and is safe, safe. high above evil and strong. Glory to God. That's a good one. The Proverbs, name of the Lord. Proverbs uh, 19.23 NIV. Yes. The fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rests, no, then one, yeah, then one rests content, untouched. untouched. There it is, trouble. untouchable. Ooh, I like we it. We are untouchable. Hallelujah. The new living of that one says, the fear of the Lord leads to life, bringing security and protection from harm. Amen. Read the Amplified there. The Gloria. reverent, worshipful fear of the Lord leads to life, and he has it, he who has it rests Satisfied. That's right. That's nothing right. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing missing or broken. And nothing bad on you. He cannot, this one who rests, who believes it and lives in the fear of the Lord, he cannot be visited with actual evil. Is that a great scripture? That's wonderful. God? That's our covenant with God. Yeah, That's what belongs yeah. to us. But you have to take it. You have to take it. It's in there. And you have to be obedient. Yeah. This is for the obedient. Yep. That's why God gave us the word so that we could live free, we could live blessed, we could live un unhindered. Unhindered. Hallelujah. This scripture in Isaiah 54, this is the scripture that Kenneth Copeland Ministries, as long as I have been here, has stood upon. Yes. And Gloria, we've averted so many things in this ministry that have tried that's to right. come against us right. through standing on this. And that's what we've done. We've stood on it. Politicians. Yes, politicians, all, kind of all, all kinds of things have tried to come on us, but we've stood on this and I really like the Amplified. No weapon that is formed you That's shall right. prosper. Right. Every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall show to be that wrong in the great. wrong. Listen to this, this peace, mm -hmm. this righteousness, Righteous. this security, this triumph over oh, opposition hallelujah. is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Glory Those in whom the ideal servant of the Lord is reproduced. This is the righteousness or the vindication which they obtain from me. This is that which I impart to them for their justification, says the Lord. Glory to God. Now, if you, think, if you wonder why we get so excited about these scriptures, it's because we believe it. We actually do believe it. We take it. We say it. Mm -hmm. We expect mm -hmm. it. Glory to God. Now, Gloria, on this one, and we'll close out with this. This is Psalm 91 in the New Living Translation. Why don't we do this? I'll read a line. You read a line. Okay, go ahead. It's a beautiful, beautiful translation of Psalm 91. This it. belongs to you. Hallelujah. This is yours. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every, every trap, trap. 
and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terror. Were you going to say something there? No, go ahead. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster. When you hear about epidemics mm -hmm. and whatever, mm -hmm. believe God. Don't get in fear. Don't receive that. Say, well, I, he bore, Jesus himself bore my sicknesses right. and carried right. my diseases. By his stripes I was healed. Nor the disaster. Don't, uh, do not dread the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand shall fall at your side, 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. I say again, these evils <laughs> will, will not touch, touch you. you. We are untouchable. Not touch me. That's right. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the high, Most High your shelter, uh, no evil will no conquer evil. you, nor plague no will plague. come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. When you hear on the mm. news that there's a, an epidemic of this or that or yeah. the other, whatever yes. it is, yes. don't just sit there like a dummy. <laughs> Say, I'll never have that. That's right. I'm not taking that. It's not coming near I'll my family. I'll never have the flu. Oh, it's flu season. Not mm -mm. for me, it's mm -mm. not. That's right. They will hold you up with their hands. Oh, this is yours, George, but I'll read it for Go you. Go right ahead. They will hold you up <laughs> with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. That's good. Woo! You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. Now, where could you find more danger than that? Oh, that's dangerous. Here you are in a cage with lions, cobras, and serpents. Serpents. <laughs> and you get to go free. That's right. Because, read that, the but Lord. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Now, what does the Bible say about who is, who are those who love him? If you love the word. Mm -hmm. If you love me, mm -hmm. you'll keep my commandments. That's right. That's right. So we know what it takes to That's get right. this kind of protection. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. We live in a good place. We do. Hallelujah. I will reward them with long life and give them my salvation. Glory to God. Praise George God. George and I'll be right back. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. There are those who've said that some of the diseases that are on the rampage right now are God's way of punishing immoral people today. There is absolutely no scriptural basis for that. God does not bring disease on the human race. In fact, if there's anybody who hates it, it's Jesus. The devil is the one who's trying to tell us otherwise. He's promoting a lie. It's time for you and I as believers to put a stop to that lie. We need to tell people that God loves them and he has the desire and power to heal them. Jesus Christ is not their captor. He's the one who can set them free. A bullet went through the top of our van with my entire family in it and no one was touched. I was diagnosed with aggressive breast cancer and today I am cancer free. A flash flood caused our vehicle to hydroplane and flip into a ditch underwater, but we were able to escape unharmed. And I left church Sunday morning. I died, but here I am today. I've dealt with depression and suicide, but now I know God loves me and I have hope. Discover how you can live totally protected through the Untouchables package. You'll receive the DVDs of Gloria Copeland's and Pastor George Pearson's two-week Bible study, as well as the study notes. Also included is the bonus CD by Pastor George, Protection in Perilous Times, and Gloria Copeland's CD, Totally Protected. Order the Untouchables package absolutely free. Go to kcm.org slash offer or call 877-615-4267. Live in God's circle of protection, free from fear every day. We are untouchable. I am untouchable. I am untouchable. I am untouchable. I am untouchable. Live every day in God's circle of protection. You can be untouchable in God too. 
Order your Untouchables package on CD or DVD. Go to kcm.org slash offer. One per person, please. Free offer good for 60 days. In Christ, in the Word, you and I are the untouchables here. Acting on the Word will make, and in faith, will put you in a position where you're not fearful because you've got an answer. That's right. You know you've That's been delivered. You know God's Word's there. You know Satan can't touch you if you're in faith. That's right. And so, George and I, we're just, we want to pray for you today over the fear. That's what opens the door to the That's devil. That's right, it does. You don't have any, you, you've got to stay in faith. I mean, when everybody says, you know, the world's going into an economic downturn, you might lose your job. This, you stand in faith. Father, we pray Thank for you, every Jesus. person Praise listening God. to this broadcast today. Thank we you, rebuke Jesus. fear. Fear, you are a traitor. You are a liar. You That's do not right. belong That's to right. the children of God. And we bind you from every person Jesus in the name. name of Jesus. Praise God. And we all, Thank you, in Jesus. agreement, take the yes. Word of God. Take, take our it. deliverance. Take our blessing and will not fear. Glory. Thank you. This is Glory and George reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Kenneth Copeland Ministries is here for you. The Believer's Voice of Victory is available free on DVD, CD, or digital download, MP3 or MP4. Call 877-615-4267. Continue to grow in God's Word and build your faith with this week's free TV offer. These Word-based teachings will help you live in victory. Order your copy today. This is the time for miracles. Receive all God has for you in the great year. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event. He is interested in everything you do, every decision you make, where you go to school, where you go to work, how everything about your life, all the time, all the time. My sheep hear my voice. My, uh, my sheep will know my voice. July 4th through 9th, join Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their special guests for the 2016 Southwest Believers Convention in Fort Worth, Texas. August 4th through 6th, the Copelands welcome you to the 2016 Alaska Victory Campaign at the Denina Civic and Convention Center in Anchorage, Alaska. August 19th through 20th, get involved with the 2016 Living Victory Anaheim with Kenneth and Kelly Copeland at the Hilton Hotel in Anaheim, California. September 16th through 17th, get connected at Living Victory Orlando at the Rosen Shingle Creek Hotel in Orlando, Florida. 